Welcome back to another season of the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED Grow Lights. This is season two, episode one. And if you have not seen the first season, you can click right up here or at the end of the video to watch the entire playlist of that season. So in this season, we were doing pretty much the same thing as the last season, except two different things. The first thing that I did here is I removed the lenses from the Max Bloom light. I removed the lenses from the vegetative stage and also the blooming stage, which are these two red cobs in the center. No lenses whatsoever, and that's gonna give it a uh, more uniform light coverage for the plants that I'm growing here. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, it also gives it a more of a fair comparison because the high bay light is also just flat uh, SMD LEDs. There's no lenses on them. Uh, what I don't like about lenses when it comes to grow lights is uh, these in particular had 90 degree lenses on them, which means that uh, if your plants are not far enough away from them and they're too close, you're gonna get these little rings of color. So each one of these little LEDs is different colors and you're gonna get a ring in different spots of the uh, top of the plant canopy of just different colors of light. You don't want that. You want all the colors to be overlapping each other completely. You want a uniform coverage. So by removing the lenses on here, it's going to give it diff more diffused light and it's gonna more evenly cover the canopy. The second thing I don't like uh, about the using lenses is it restricts your vertical growing space. So in order to actually maintain that overlapping coverage the light has to be a certain distance away from the plants and you have to raise the light up uh, quite a bit away from the plant canopy and that restricts your vertical growing space so as the plants get taller you can't raise the light up anymore and the plants start growing into that zone that you don't want so that's what's going on in this season as far as the lights go and as far as how i have it set up it's exactly the same thing as the last season i have both lights tuned to the same exact wattage using my watt meter minus eight watts on this light from the fans that it takes to run them. And I have them set to the same distance from the plant tops as far as the PAR values go. So I use my Apogee MQ 500 PAR meter and I'm getting right now about 230 micromole uh, at the plant tops for both sides, even though the lights are different distances. So the types of plant that I'm growing, this is the second difference between uh, last season and this season, is I am now growing pepper plants. Uh, these are jalapeno pepper plants I don't remember the exact type. I'll maybe talk about that in the next episode. But as you can see here, all the plants are pretty much looking identical. They're all in the same exact growth stage and they're all looking pretty good. I chose to do pepper plants because in other experiments growing these pepper plants, I've had really good luck with them. They've been very consistent and they don't grow too big. Uh, that's kind of important. So there's only two per side and that should fill up this nice side, this side very nicely. So that's what's gonna be going on in this season. I'm not gonna have a ton of episodes in the season. It's going to be uh, relatively short. Um, not a short growing season, but it's going to be a short season, so only a couple episodes. Uh, as far as what I'm doing here, I'm not doing the DWC, or I should say I'm not aerating the water. I'm just growing a crab key because uh, in the uh, pH grow test uh, with the Mars Hydro Light, uh, which will be linked up here for that season if you haven't seen that, uh, I had good success growing these in the cracky method. I uh, didn't seem to have any problems whatsoever. So that's about it for this episode. This was just kind of an introductory to this season and we will see you in episode two. Thanks for watching.